ugly start to February, Shane. I heard some thunder this morning uh, before work, and it sounds like we could see more of that tomorrow. More thunderstorms on Groundhog's Day. So uh, don't know what that means <laughs> I exactly. Don't know, don't know either. <laughs> uh, I'm going to call it about a 50/50 shot of the groundhog seeing its shadow locally, though, because mm. it's going to be partly sunny mm. tomorrow in the morning. The storms don't roll in until tomorrow evening. Let's take a look at what's going on outside the WYMT studio right now. Just dreary conditions, a lot of fog and some drizzle on going, and it's not just here in Hazard, but all across the region. Let's take a little tour on our SkyCam network over at US 23 on Jenkins. You can see that fog really starting to roll in on the mountains with temperatures into the low 40s across the region uh, and a few upper 40s showing up in the Cumberland Valley and near the Virginia border, 48 right now at London. You can see even a little bit of fog there. Uh, down into the Cumberland Valley, and we will see that fog really thicken up overnight. Pinpoint Doppler right now, nice and dry for the most part. A few sprinkles down near the Virginia border and a little bit more steady rain back into southwest Virginia. But the forecast tomorrow turns to the active side. Storm Prediction Center has a good chunk of the region and a marginal outlook for severe weather, and then down in the Cumberland Valley, a slight risk. So. Overall, chances aren't great of severe weather tomorrow. We could see a little bit. Main concern, gusty winds and heavy rain. In fact, wind advisory out through tomorrow afternoon through Wednesday morning, gust of 40 miles per hour possible. Need to bring in those uh, trash cans, and if you have any yard decorations out right now, make sure they're secure. You don't want them flying down into the neighbor's yard. 40s and 50s temperature-wise right now. We saw our fair share of rain today as well, uh, anywhere from about a quarter inch to a half inch, even a little bit more over towards Jackson on our Kentucky Mesonet uh, readings. Once again, the Kentucky Mesonet, a service of Western Kentucky University, their real-time weather observation network. Here's a look at the next 24 hours. Foggy and dreary through the morning tomorrow with temperatures into the low 40s, upper 60s tomorrow afternoon. Our next storm system currently gathering in the plains. That rolls in tomorrow evening, and with it, we're going to see the potential of some heavy rain and gusty winds. Let's break it down for you for future view. Tomorrow morning, foggy, temperatures into the 40s. The showers should hold off until tomorrow evening. In fact, tomorrow afternoon, we see a little bit of sunshine. We could make a run at 70 degrees. Then the rain comes in. During the overnight, Tuesday into Wednesday morning, in fact, the strongest of the storms look like they'll be rolling through Hazard, Jackson, and Harlan right around 6 o'clock on Wednesday morning. And then we're going to see improving conditions Wednesday night into Thursday and also some cooler temperatures. Let's quickly take a look at how much rain we could see from this storm system. Uh, down in the Cumberland Valley, 2 inches plus, that could cause some isolated high water issues, especially where the ground is very saturated from the melting snowpack. Also, wind gusts tomorrow in excess of 40 miles per hour. That, in combination with the wet ground, could cause some power outages. So we do want to mention that the uh, severe weather risk, it's not looking great tomorrow night, but with heavy rain and some gusty winds, could be some power outages and some adverse travel conditions Tuesday night and Wednesday morning. And then after that, Steve, the forecast takes a turn to the cooler side, but no snow on there, so uh, I'm not going to complain about that. Cool but calm. We'll yeah. take it. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Shane. Straight ahead on first at four. A